What your home in Greenville is worth and what it might sell for are two different things. Let's break it down. Classic example of what I'm talking about, you'll often find in new construction communities here in the upstate. Let's say you go buy a brand new build from a big builder for $400,000. To get a conventional loan on that property, you'll of course need an appraisal. If that appraiser, who's an independent third party, tells the bank, yes, this house is definitely worth the 400 k the buyer wants to pay for it, the bank will give you the loan. But here's the thing, if you try to turn around and sell that house right away and that builder is still building homes in that community, you might be disappointed with the results. Why? Because the builder's offering incentives, warranties, and blue tape walkthroughs. It's hard for you as an individual seller to compete with that unless you're really dropping down your price. That is a case where a home could sell for less than it is actually worth. This is why when we work with home sellers here in the upstate, we don't just tell you what homes are selling for in the area, we also do a competitive analysis. So when you put your home on the market, you have a better understanding of where it's going to fit in the eyes of the consumer. Preparation, staging, marketing, and how you price it all have a lot to do with you getting the best possible result. So make sure when you're doing your analysis and thinking about selling your home, you're factoring in what will the consumer think of my house because that is what drives the sales price. For more real estate tips here in the Upstate, just hit the follow button.